Mr. Babatunde is my name, popularly known as Mosa. Welcome to Credibility Spot on Credibility TV. Yusu Baba Tunde is my name. I am also called Mosa. That's my nickname. I happen to play a professional football in Nigeria. I've played for stationary stores. I've played for Julius Beda, where I, where I also became the captain of the club. I played for Quara United Football Club. Played for Sunshine Stars Football Club. And... Uh, Shooting Stars SC of Ibadan. My challenges are like every other young player's challenge who wants to play the game. You know, the first challenge is uh, you have to do with your parents. You know, they will not want you to play football, they will like you to go to school. Also, maybe while growing, you don't have money to buy soccer pints. Um, football boots and all those uh, accessories that you will need to play the game. During my playing time, I happen to be a playmaker. So when I was playing, my teammates, even some of my coaches, do complain that I don't know how to mark and. Uh, my my strength is that I can use the ball very well. Those that played with me knows how much I try to use the ball. I don't lose the ball anyhow. I try to give as much as uh, penetrating passes I can give to the attackers to score goals. I also score by my own self from the midfield. I happen to be one of I mean I happen to be the highest goal scorer of my team when I was with Julius Vega, when I became the captain of the club. I scored eight goals in the league. Five of the goals were away, while three are from home. You know, in Nigeria we have so many challenges. You know, the challenges of uh, how we run the game. You know, when you are playing in a club where you are not being paid, you know, you'll be frustrated and you are growing. You are not getting any younger, you know. The challenges I particularly had then was that uh, during the time I played, most of those teams then were owing me. So I couldn't say, ah, I want to continue with them. I had to like see what I can do to help my career. So I tr traveled out of the country then to seek for greener patches. But you know, unfortunately, I couldn't uh, uh, really make it out there. You know, coaching is part of my plans in the game because I I want to believe I've given the game little I have. I I know I can still give, maybe not playing, but coaching. So I'm looking forward to where I will start uh, my coaching career, I haven't finished my coaching course and also try to see if I can manage one or two players growing up. You know, the basic challenge we have in Nigeria is because it is government that is running our football. You know, football is business. Anywhere in the world, you will see people trying to invest in football because they see it as business so in nigeria most of the clubs we are having here are being owned by state government so if a successful 
governor finishes it, his own term, the club automatically goes to the next person. So, you know, if the person that is coming in does not have the interest of football at heart, you know, the team that the state owns will be dying gradually. So, we, I want to believe that because the government is uh, running uh, our football, that's why we are not seeing it as a business. Yes, we have so many academies in Nigeria now, but the challenges those uh, academy has is that um, some of these young players, they need to develop them very well before they can send them abroad. You know, every player that wants to play the game now wants to travel abroad tomorrow. You know, during our own time, we try to develop ourselves very well. We try to develop ourselves very well. We played different and lots of uh, tournaments. So it makes us to really grow, to mature in the game before we start playing as a professional. Well, most of the academies now, they want to send the player abroad as soon as, as quick as possible so that they can make their money. But they need to develop them very well. And, you know, I can't really blame those that are running the academy because they are also spending money. You know, to run football, you need sponsors. You need sponsors. You need collaboration with other groups that you know that, uh, that can help you financially to, to make sure the academy is being run the way it should be run. You know, so that's what we are, I mean, the challenges we are facing. Yes, like I earlier said, you know, most of the players now, they are not getting their entitlement as at when due because the club is being run by state governments, like I earlier said. So if you are getting the money as a time you need to get it, you know, as you would think like a professional. You understand? You would think like a professional. You know, thank God our league is improving now. You see that uh, teams are winning away from home. That, that means we are coming up. But they need to do more by um, making sure the entitlements of those players are being paid. Because you can't be owing player two months, three months salary and expect him to do well. You can't get 100% of those players, you can't get it. So they need to do more in terms of uh, remuneration. If a club is paying sign-on fee, they should pay it well. If they are paying salaries, they should pay it well. Because footballers, we don't have pension. That money you get monthly or annually is the money you are going to live on. So. They need to do more in, term, in terms of uh, the welfare package of our players. That is when you see that um, the league will really grow. Solution going forward, you know, the, the players, I mean, the, every club must seek for sponsor. You know, we must maybe our government, if there's a way our government can make sure that all these uh, private and private companies can come into sports. You understand? If they can come into sports, maybe have one or two clubs they are sponsoring. You understand? If they are sponsoring a club now, the, the, the club will not be waiting for the state government to pay, to give them monthly or annual subvention before they can pay players. But if they if they are sponsors, here in Nigeria, I can tell you, majority of the players does not have contracts. You know, if you have contracts, hmm? if you have contracts, yeah, okay, you are signed for two years, you know that this is the amount I will get for that two years. So, in that case, you will see that we will run the football professionally. You understand? We will run the football professionally. Then those sponsors who 
are sponsoring the club, we will see that they are getting value for their money. They are getting value for what they are putting their money on. Because the brand, the players and the club will be selling, you know, will make the company to want to do, to do more. Players will get their money on time. The coaches will get their money on time. If the coaches get their money on time, they will think well. They will not be thinking players need to pay, I mean, need to come and bribe them before they can play. You understand? If the coach is getting as much as they are supposed to be getting, they won't be saying, okay, man, before you can play, you have to come and see me. I mean, those are the things that is happening in our football here in Nigeria. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, if we can check all those things, maybe we'll run the football well. The national team right now is doing very, very well under the coach of uh, Genetura. I mean the senior national team, they are doing very, very well. If you check our last Nations Cup, uh, we got to the semi-finals before we lost to Algeria, the eventual winner of the cup. But, uh, our Super Eagles, they are doing very, very well. We played two qualifiers, we won the two. And if you check the last, uh, the last FIFA ranking, I think we are now 31 or so. My advice is to the young and upcoming talents. It's simple. They should be focused. They should be dedicated to whatever they are doing. And at the same time, they should know why they are playing the game. And lastly, they should try as much as possible to work very, very hard. Because if you say you have skills, there are several other players that have skills like you do. But if you work hard, it means you'll be a step or two above other players.